Kicked him a couple times, he's unresponsive. He's dead. Yep, definitely dead. I don't know how he sported himself. I mean, he's really top heavy and he has chicken legs. Yeah, he does have chicken legs. Good observation, right? You're right. What do we have for evidence? Well, we do know this is a murder. The murder weapon is unknown. And we did find some strands of potassium on the body. And this. Pokemon card. This stuff is bananas. B A N A N A S. All right, thank you, officer. We'll we'll take it from here. So I have some information that might interest you regarding the chicken leg murder. What do you have for me, chief? I found a note that had one word on it: name. On the back of it. They had a clue. A place where dreams go to die. We don't have much time to solve this case, so I need you to be on top of your game. Absolutely, sir. Good luck. Name. I don't get why you don't let me in the secret meetings. Ray, get focused. No, it's so stupid, we're both a team. Ray, get focused. Where do dreams go to die? Guidance. You watch, what are you doing, pal? You don't find anything wrong with that? With what? I remember. You're an idiot. Where could the next clue be? All it says is that. Wait, something on the back. It does say something on the back. This place is full of words and AP nerds. The library. <laughs> All right, we made it. The library. What's the banana guy doing here? Looks like the last note. Pokemon. Name that Pokemon. It was you. I woke up in a noble guy. Wait, what are we doing? Interrogate him. interrogate Okay, Banana Man. Everything's gonna be on alright. But in order for me to help you, you have to help us help each other when we're helping each other. Alright, what do you want with me? Alright, we just need some information from you. Never. You need to tell us what we need to know. Never! <laughs> tell us what we need to know. Never. Never? You're not getting anything out of me. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> Jimmy! No! Died. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? That's Jimmy! I don't think Jimmy has much time left unless you tell us what we need to know. Tyler, what are you doing? That's against the law! I am the law. Alright guys, so I've called you three in here today because we got a little issue. Some old breeders have been walking around the school stealing the toys for tots, so we need to figure this out. 
Right? The kids are really dependent on you guys, so you were really my last option, had nobody else, so I'm hoping you three can find out who's behind all this. Don't worry, you can count on us. All right, so I've narrowed it down to three potential amigos. Miss O'Toole, forensics teacher, ex-cop, knows how to get around the law. Mr. Beck, affectionate towards zebras, beard game equals strong. Mrs. Walton, librarian, rumored to have a secret double life. All right, that's all the information I have on these perils. So let's get to work and remember, you don't want to be the reason for children crying on Christmas morning. Three, two, one. For the holiday. holiday. Mama said alligators are ordinary because they got all them teeth, no toothbrush. Shh. Look over the data. Mm -hmm. It can't be missed at back. Like, I checked his interscope records and he's been producing these new singles, not just an old math teacher. It can't be him. Well, I don't think it was Miss Walton because um, the police have been monitoring her all last week for bringing her rooster into a bakery. I don't really know, but I don't think she could have done it. One, two, three. For, for the, the children! We got him. I get it. <laughs> You'll never get me. I got you. Woo! You got the right to remain. Y yeah, I, I know my rights. Thanks. Got and you. I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you meddling kids and that Spanish teacher. Bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I'm looking to wet my whisk. Oh, right up, Longhorn. Hey, you, Jack! Psst! You talking to me? Yes, Snaggletooth. Told you to name that Pokemon. What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. I told you to name that Pokemon last night. No, I will not name that Pokemon. You will name that Pokemon! Otherwise, we're gonna have an old fashioned dead man shoot. Whoa, hey guys! I thought I was trying to settle this with a draw. Yeah, we'll settle this with a draw! No, no, I don't think so. Come that's... on, it will be fun! Get, get, get off me! Oh. Hey.
better name that Pokemon before I shoot you. Draw! Now that I have stolen this tree and all of Christmas cheer, it's gone. Everybody will be miserable. Did you hear that? that? That's why everybody's been so miserable lately. I know, we need to find a way to stop them and get that tree back. Yeah, but we can't do this alone. I know, we really can't. Oh yeah, we have to assemble a team. But, but first, all right, um, let's meet back here at 2.15, all right? That See you then. See ah, yes. Yes, I have the stolen Christmas tree in my room. I do. It's in the closet. It's safe keepings. I know in the black market it'll bring a pretty price. Yes, I'll meet you tomorrow. Sounds good. Hey, look at his room. Yeah, got a pit full of alligators at the bottom. How are we supposed to get around that? They look so angry. Well, Mama says alligators are so ornery because they have all them teeth but no toothbrush. Hey, what are you kids doing? What are you got for the tree? Someone's trying to take something from your room. What? Someone's in my room? Yeah. Oh, the pit! Ah! Oh my God, that's terrible. Oh my God, he's he's eating his arm. Should we call for help? No, it's too late for him. We have, we have to get out of here, man. Detective Bossy, please report to my office. Thank you. Okay, I'll be right there. Detective. How are you? We got a major problem here. Okay. Um, I'm glad you showed up. You know about the Christmas play that's coming up next week, right? Yes, next week. Yeah. Well, we're under a lot of pressure here at the school and uh, the community. Um, we're we're going to be building a new school. The whole town's in transition, and we really need this play to bring everyone's spirits up. And uh, 
Someone snuck into the drama room last night, stole the tree. So we're at a little bit of a, you know, we're having an issue right now, and I need my best man on it. Take a look. Wow. Yeah. Where do you think I should start? I'll tell you what I would do. I'd head over to the, uh, the science wing, check out forensics. Talk to Ms. O'Toole, she might be able to lead you in the right direction. All right. All right. Thank you. Good luck. I appreciate your help. Yep. Thank you. Hi, Detective. How can I help you? Uh, I was recently informed that last night that the tree was tree napped. Yes, I was also informed of that. We found uh, a little bit of evidence, and we were able to collect some samples from it. What do you have? Well, this Gatorade bottle was left at the scene of the crime. It had pine needles and DNA. DNA? That's right. Is that all you have for me? Actually, video footage from the auditorium indicates the individual was five feet, eight inches tall, and wore a watch. Whoa, yo. Watch where you're going. Jesus. This just doesn't make sense. to Detective Bossy's office, Cole Hines. So Cole, do you have anything else for me? My mom said alligators are so ordinary because they have so many teeth but no toothbrush. The gym. It's in the gym. Average summer day in Costa Rica, a young banana like countless bananas before him is knocked far from the tree and into the crate that will ship him far from his home. However, this banana will soon find himself where no banana has gone before. Deep in the world of crime, this mellow yellow, the story of the contract killer, Jose Banana. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. After a voyage of 40 days across the Atlantic Ocean, Jose was knocked overboard during a large storm. After another three days at sea, Jose found himself washed up on the shore of Winthrop, Mass. Pokemon. Uh -huh. oh. At that moment, life for young Mike stopped, but for Jose, his life's greatest skill was discovered, murdering people. As Jose got older, both his body count and reputation grew. Soon he got the attention of the Mafia. Here's the guy. Here's the money. As Jose's career with the Mafia goes on, his influence reputation reaches an all-time high. With the police unable to apprehend him, Jose soon finds he has more money than he knows what to do with. He soon turns to drugs and alcohol. 
With all of his money wasted on pointless endivores, Jose is sent into a deep depression in which he reflects on his long, evil life. During this reflection, he is kidnapped by the Mafia that no longer beats him. He was never heard from again, although most speculate he was turned into a delicious smoothie. What was that? I don't know. We're not gonna go find out. Where the hell is Jake? We need to find Jake. Um, no we don't. Unless we want to become a zombie's dinner, we best keep moving. But Jake would come back for us. Are you kidding me? Are we even talking about the same Jake? But we can't just leave him wherever he is. Alright, let's just split up again to find him. I found something. Don't tell me you're thinking about actually going in there. Well, what other choices do we have? Let's see, um, not go in there? Well, me and Tyler are going in. If you want to stand here and get ripped apart by those things, then be my guest. Jesus Christ. Let's go. Dad, it's kind of cold in here. Look, a jacket. Wait, where the hell did Tyler go? What the hell? He was here just a second ago. You think they got him? I don't know. We just gotta keep moving. Watch out! <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. What was that? Rolling. Who the hell is that? Is that Jake? Run! What's that? Name that Pokemon. Wait, what Pokemon is that? Pikachu! Good to have you back, man. You saved our lives. You guys are my friends. I wouldn't let you die. Plus, he would have killed me too. 